Hey my friends and welcome to today's video. My name is Jackie. If you are new here then hello and welcome. And jumping right into today's video y'all, I have a, got a whole house messy a clean with me and we are just going to jump right into this. Getting started here in my bedroom, pulling up these bed blankets and sheets just to make me feel happy. This is one of my um, ways to start my day right. Um, so I go ahead and get started with that. I hope you all enjoy this video and it brings you all some motivation and or inspiration to get something tackled in your day or night, whatever that might be. I'm here to clean with you um, and hopefully help you along your way um, if you're just watching to gain that motivation. You guys, let's do this. Okay my friends and in this video I just want to share two simple ways that I put my duvet covers on my duvets um, depending which way your duvet is turned out when you go to put it on um, if it's in the right way or inside out. So this first way here I'm sharing my duvet is in the right way So I've grabbed my package of my duvet, I've tipped it out, out of my bed, I've laid my duvet cover across my bed and now I've grabbed the duvet and what I'm showing you is I grab the top right corner here, hold it in my hand tight and point my index finger. Then I make that finger push all the way to the top right hand corner of my duvet and then marry them up, lie them nicely on the bed. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this on the left side you guys. Hold that top corner tightly, point your finger and get all the way to the top corner. Once you've done that, then you grab the outside of the duvet, top left and right, give it a good shake, 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 so the duvet cover trickles down to the bottom of the duvet, and then you can lay it on the bed and then um, do all the buttons up. And then once I have done all the buttons up, then I can just grab my duvet again and I'm going to give this a nice good shake out, good shake out and then that just disperses any feathers that are um, inside that have maybe gathered. Um, and yeah, that is one first super simple way that I put this on. You guys wouldn't believe that I have seen some channels and it's just quite difficult watching them. They're having a really hard time and it's really time consuming that the way that they do it. And they're rolling the whole duvet up and then yeah. So anyway, that's my one easy way. And then a little bit later, I've got to put one of my boy's bed in his room. And I'm going to share you, show you um, with that duvet cover that is turned inside out um, the way that I do that one. Um, another easy way. But if you guys have a way, then sh be sure to um, know in the comments. I'd love to know if you are a content creator also. Maybe have this on one of your videos or so forth. Then um, I'd love to check that out too. Okay, you guys, now moving along to this laundry. Oh, I'm showing you my poor basket there. It has really fallen apart, you guys. I really need to get me a new one. Um, I haven't seen one around like this, so I don't know. I'm actually looking at that, or maybe um, I've seen the collapsible ones um, that are looking really good. So I might get that just for time saving, space saving. Um, oh, I'm not too sure. Keep on the lookout anyway. So you guys, I go ahead and tip this basket out and get this first load folded um, because my basket always seems to be so full with it, one load, two loads. This is definitely my letdown of my laundry routine. Um, yeah, it always takes the longest. So, so I've got this sitting here. I need to get this folded so then I can take my basket and get my load that is in my washer hung out. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, then I like to get a load of washing on every evening. Um, last, last thing is I go to bed so it's not sitting too long in my washer. So it doesn't get, um, you know, musty kind of smell. And be sure if, if it does, then that washing load will be going through again. Because, yeah, I love beautiful, fresh smelling washing. <laughs> so that's what I do there. Um, and then once that's folded, you guys, yes. Then I'm going to take a new load and I'm going to get that hung outside. And you guys, I'm taking it outside to hang this out here. This is a part of my routine these days. I've just brought that in, but guys, check out all of this. This is folded washing. I need to put away a mountain all over my bench. 
and I've got this load um, I still have no dryer and I'm fine with that because I feel I'm in no pressure or hurry to get one um, it is the summer month so um, I've made this into my routine and it works with hanging this on the line it's getting dried but I mean if it was winter or cold or wet months then I'm sure I'd be pressured to um, be getting a dryer to get that washing um, cycles and routines going so um, yeah you guys I used to get all of these wooden pits as you would have seen in my laundry bag cover but as you can see well, if you can see they're all going black and rusty there and most of them have all fallen apart um, the actual clasps themselves these bits here used to come off way too easy and yeah they've just got really yuck so I don't have any of in here now so I just went ahead and got my standard um, plastic ones that um, a really strong grip and last a whole lot longer. The time, the amount of time that I had these, they just did not last and do the job. So yeah, so I won't be getting these again. Definitely outside in the um, wetter months. That's what these just get wet in the rain. but all of these are getting hung inside out because it just especially outside of it sunny like this I try not to hang it when it's too brilliant sun in the middle of the day just because your clothes get faded helps with um, stopping the sun fading your clothes heaps so that's why I do that as much as the drama that it is extra work but just saves your clothes a bit from getting faded from the sun Okay, and then I'm back inside here and I'm going to put another load of washing on here so by the time that is done then I can get that drying too. Um, yeah, so I can get it off the line in time for evening time when it just starts to get a bit damp out there. So um, yeah, we'll go straight ahead and do that. Now what I'm wanting to share here is a quick review of this laundry liquid dispenser. I mean it is actually a drink dispenser but I've used it for this um, purpose and you guys this has my fabric softener in it. Now um, what I've realised is um, <laughs> as you can see the level of my liquid is too low um, compared to the, the nozzle level um, and so you can't obviously get the detergent out so I'm having to tip that right forward so it covers over the nozzle hole and um, then it will come out for me but I mean that's just nice a little, little bit annoying and it's glass on. and when you're trying to hold it forward push the button and hold the little um, cup underneath to grab it it's just kind of annoying but I mean it does work if you grab the whole thing off the shelf take it to the actual yeah. washing machine and then um, hold it under your arm and push the nozzle I mean that that works fine but um yeah it's just a little bit annoying as it gets so low I have to make sure that I have to keep it really topped up so yeah it's fine to have um maybe if you're going to keep it really topped up but um this week I had forgot to buy some so yeah that's just a little pain but um nothing really major um actually I remember now I remember one of my subscribers at the beginning when I got this asked about um, the level and asked about if it drips um, and actually I'd never noticed it at the beginning but maybe that wash is wearing down a little bit now as it's been used quite a bit um, but it does have like say two to three drips um, I guess what's left in the nozzle after you use it and those two to three drips will obviously drip down. Of that 
friends is the second way that I do my duvet that I find super simple you guys I'm taking this duvet and now this one is turned inside out so you'll see the seams um, as it is inside out so what I do for this one is put my arms right up inside the duvet um, from the opening at the bottom and I'll get my hands to either corner left and right and um, hold on to those corners and then all the rest of the duvet will be ruffled on my arms, obviously. Now what I do is um, take then my duvet um, and with my hands through the duvet cover, I grab onto the duvets, um, the left and right corner, so they're matching. Um, and then with this one, what I do is what I do is stand up and literally just do a flick over my arms and the duvet will flip over to be the right way in and then um, it will be covering over the duvet and then give it a good shake so it goes down to the bottom again and then do those buttons up and voila that is my second way that I put my duvet on um, if it is inside out. Um, and I find it's super simple also. I hope you guys understood with <laughs> how I meant to do it. Um, but I was showing you there with the tutorial. So um, yeah. Let me know if you guys did understand what I meant anyway. And let me know down in the comments if you do either of these two ways that I've showed you today. Um, yeah, I'd love to know. I try to figure out who I am. Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can you guys have seen this toothpaste smeared. Look how dirty that is. Look at all that toothpaste from my kiddos. Just needs a really good wiping. Stickers. Just using my method glass cleaner. It's not easy, but I'm feeling stronger with you. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would. And before you, there was no one who understood. Sometimes I. Like you're the one who said 
Gave the bathroom a good clean out there um, and then now I'm down to my kitchen area where I need to clear these benches do these dishes now if you guys know me then I like to um, put my water and my dishes in and give these a good a soaking time why I then clean off my countertop um, so that's like five or ten minutes and then when I come back to them they're a whole lot easier you know you don't have to stand there and elbow grease scrub you can kind of just wipe the cloth or the um, scrubber brush over it and it just comes off quite easy so anyway that's my tip that's what I do um, because I don't have a dishwasher um, as I always say I am the dishwasher so um, yes that's that's what I do there um, And then you guys I see my toaster here is just really filthy it's been bugging me it looks really dark if you can see on top there and um, so I just took the scour pads I shared these in my last video they are new they are cecil fiber which is like a renewable um, fiber um, to help you know the planet and um, ecosystem so, so I've picked those up and I'm really liking them they work exactly like a normal scour pad um, and yeah same similar same price so I'm I'm liking those so I go ahead with that and just some soapy water um, and then I'm just uh, giving a little bit of el elbow grease to the top of this toaster and as you guys can see the transformation it is just 
this just my, this is just so satisfying to me um, when I see that transformation. So this is coming up quite easy and I'm really wrapped about that. Um, and so I go ahead and just clean all that down and then you guys can see the reflection. My gosh, um, beaming back up at me as I record there. So it's definitely come up cleaner and I'm so wrapped with how that turned out. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, oh, nah, nah, I There you guys, while I'm in the kitchen here, I'm also going to clean the front of my oven and my fridge. Um, and I just go ahead with my glass cleaner and my microfiber cloth and get these cleaned up. Yes, I do use glass cleaner on my fridge. It is a brushed stainless steel and it comes up nice and clean, streak free. So, I mean, that's what I've always used. I don't specifically buy stainless steel cleaner. Um, yeah, I just go ahead and this is the method glass cleaner, you guys. Um, also tape to my rubbish bin area um, this cupboard just needs a good wipe down my little ones know how to undo this latch and um, use the rubbish bin so that's good I mean they do put their rubbish and or scraps or whatever in there um, and help mama out but um, there's just spills and what you know is yeah whatever <laughs> you know what I mean that area needs to wipe out so I'm just going to clear that cupboard out um, and then I'm going to give it a good wipe down and then take to my rubbish bin also um, that needs a good wiping and I'm just using my antibacterial wipes for this um, and then putting a new bin liner and voila, all done. This space is all tidied up. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will follow you. Then I'm just going to give a vacuum, a mop. And then lastly, you guys, I'm back to that laundry with that um, mountain of washing I showed you that were folded on my bench. 
um, waiting to be put away. So I'm taking those to the rooms and getting them put away in their proper places to finish up. Days. And I promise that I, I will stay. said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it you'll enjoy this whole house clean with me it did pretty much take me over the whole day to get it done between kids and life and other things and yep that's how that goes um, I don't do this every day um, normally I have a little bit of a um, pull up the sheets and clean the kitchen and stuff but um, nothing major every day just I alternate and then the next day after this um, I can just chill out and spend a bit more time with my kiddos um, not being at school or kinder yet because it is summer holidays here so they so this video was a full of a ton of motivation I hope to get you guys get up get moving um, maybe you're cleaning along with me let me know in the comments if you were and maybe what you got accomplished um, along with me that will be awesome okay my friends take care much love and I'll be seeing you all in my next video